What's up, boys? I'll be ranking the top 10 first baseman in MLB The Show 22, Diamond Dynasty. You guys have really been seeming to love these types of videos on the channel, so I already posted a starting pitchers and a catchers video. So if you guys have not already seen those, go ahead and watch those after this one or before this one. So this is going to include pretty much everything, including collections, live series cards, all that different stuff. But before we do all in though, if anyone is new, make sure you guys go ahead and like the video and subscribe and turn on your post notifications as well. We are on the road now to 15 thousand subscribers you guys have blown up my channel this year with MLB the show genuinely do appreciate every single one of you guys so let's keep it going though on the road to 15k but bare minimum just leave a little bit of a like on the video and before we hop into the rankings we're going to open one standard pack to see if we get a little bit lucky last time around we actually did we pulled the diamond this time around though we will not pull them this is a bit of an interesting one here at number 10 on the list but i've got josh bell here from the face of the franchise program i still think this is deserving to be on the list on the number 10 spot here because he's pretty much just good all around he's got 88 contact right 79 contact left 90 power right and 86 power left here he's got 42 speed which isn't great he's also not a great fielder but he does have some nice quirks he's got a ton of them actually so he's got hitting machine bomber walker homebody uh day player unfazed and he also has breaking ball hitter and rally monkey so he's got a lot of quirks that make him really really good but overall i just really like this card i think he's deserving of the number 10 spot on this list next up we have paul goldschmidt on the list which honestly you can't really go wrong with either paul goldschmidt card it's just kind of up to you this one has a little bit more speed on him but this card is better hitting stats but he only has 37 speed so he's also playing up to a 93 right now so he has kind of plus 10 right now to contact right but uh, I really do like both of these cards here. So Paul Goldschmidt here, I think is definitely deserving of the spot on the list here. So he's playing plus 10 right now to righties, which is great. But uh, obviously, I don't think by the time you guys are watching this, though, he will be bumped up. But anyways, he's got 82 contact right with 125 contact left, 73 power right, and 96 power left here. Again, only 37 speed, unfortunately. Uh, he does have a nice amount of quirks, though. He's got a hitting machine, walker, sniper, pressure cooker, unbreakable. He's got road warrior, along with day player, first pitch hitter, dead red and fighter so he has a ton of quirks on this card i really do love this card a lot here and paul goldschmidt i use him all the time and i actually really do love this card i think the 91 is worth an honorable mention as well and number eight on the list i'm putting 90 overall ty france here you can buy him right now for about 16,000 subs or actually 13,000. but he's got the diamond hitting and silver defense not much speed on this card you better not be stealing with this card though 21 speed zero steal so i don't think you would anyway but ty france here 92 contact right 100 contact left 72 power right and 80 power left and this card is definitely deserving of a spot on this list he can also play second base and third base for you but hitting machine 2020 vision quick reflexes pressure cooker home buddy night player along with rally monkey so he has a lot of nice quirks as well a lot of these players on this list do but i really do like this ty france card at first base for the seattle mariners next up i have a card that's just been, newly been introduced to the game and i think a lot of people are kind of sleeping on it. it's this david ortiz card obviously it's big poppy he's not gonna have too much speed he's got a whole 10 also not gonna have too much defense but the hitting stats on this card make up for a lot of that i mean that's kind of what you get in a david ortiz card but 101 contact right 90 contact left 113 power right and 95 power left a lot of good stuff about this card he has five quirks on him though so not as much quirks he's got hitting machine bomber walker pressure cooker and unbreakable so you know most of the stats and quirks that all the other first basemen have so not too special there but i mean the hitting abilities just across the board the hitting stats are amazing on this card there is kind of a lefty meta though and he's not as great as he is against righties but i do like this card a lot in david ortia i think he's definitely worthy of the spot on this list at number seven and number six here, I have Pete Alonso with the diamond hitting and the bronze defense. He's got 39 speed, which is not great, but he is very, very good hitting wise here. He's got 97 contact right, 92 contact left, 90 power right, and 111 power left. Good quirks as well. He's got a bunch of them here. So hitting machine, bomber, walker, pressure cooker, world warrior, day player, first pitch hitter, dead red, rally monkey, and fighter. So pretty much all the same stuff that Paul Goldschmidt has for the most part. So that's really good. I love to see that, but diamond hitting is really really good on this card i mean all the stats on this are really really good love to see it a lot of power towards lefties as well and he's good at contact towards righty so he can really do either if he's facing a righty he'll probably he'll probably get, you know get more contact if he's hit, if he's facing a lefty he's probably gonna hit more bombs so i really do like this card in pete alonzo and i definitely think he's one of the better first basemen in the game and number five here i'm gonna go with one of the bosses from the april monthly rewards program and that's gonna be anthony rizzo so not much speed I, most first basemen are not gonna have too much speed but diamond hitting silver defense on this card 81 contact right 86 contact left and he's just going to mash some bombs man 100 power right and 102 power left a ton of quirks here you guys pretty much get it by this point so i mean he's got pretty much all the quirks that everyone else has 
So yeah, really good card. I like it a lot here in Anthony Rizzo. I think he's definitely deserving of a spot on this list, even though he is kind of an older card that a decent amount of people do have. Next up, we have a cheaper card on our list and our first Future Stars player of the video here from the Kansas City Royals. We have Nick Prado. So diamond hitting, diamond defense. You won't see too many cards have diamond defense unless they're from this Future Stars program, at least for first base, but he's about 1,200 stubs, uh, 10,000 if you do the, uh, you know, the buy order, but 92 contact right, 84 contact left. So not too great on contact left, but he does make up for pretty much all of that in power with 108 power right and 100 power left. So I like this card a lot. He's got 52 speed, which is pretty good for first baseman. So I'm a pretty big fan of these Future Stars first baseman. I think they did really, really good with them. They're pretty juiced. So he's definitely worthy of a top spot on the list. Next up, we have a more expensive player here. And there's a couple of reasons why. Michael Toliga here. I think I said that name right. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I probably did say it wrong. Uh, but he's a switch hitter, man. He's a switch hitter, which is freaking great. Diamond hitting, diamond defense, 48 speed. Uh, yeah, great fielding, man. He can also play left field and right field. 84 contact right, 92 contact left, 109 power right, and 107 power left. He is, in my opinion, like the first or second best card in this entire program, the Future Stars program. He's up there with, you know, the, the pitcher, but uh, yeah, 21,000. You can buy him for right now, which is, you know, a little bit pricey, but uh, there's a reason he's that high. It's because he's a switch hitter and has a for crap ton of power, so... I really do love this Michael Toligo card. And now we're getting to the final two, man. At number two, I have Carlos Delgado here. Diamond hitting on this card. Not as much defense, but he does have 42 speed. So don't be stealing with this card, though. He's got a whole zero. So, you know, don't do that. But 110 contact right, 102 contact left, 113 power right, and 81 power left. So not as great power-wise towards lefties, obviously, but everything else, man, is insane on this card. Definitely deserving of, you know, the number two slash number one spot on this list. I've seen a lot of people, you know, I think this is the best first baseman in the game, and I wouldn't really disagree with you, but I think there's one guy who is a little bit better, and we will take a look at that card now. And at number one on this list, I'm going with good old Frank Thomas. Obviously, one of, if not the most expensive game card in the game, so 50 speed right there. He does not have much defense, though. As you guys can see, he's got common defense, but the diamond hitting man on this card is pretty crazy. I mean, you guys can just see it going over there. I mean, I don't even know if I have to really talk about it, but I guess I will. 109 contact right, 105 contact left, 105 power right, and 125 power left. If with the lefty meta right now, and so many lefties, you know, in the game, yeah, he's going to freaking mash every single one of those guys. So you can't do better, really, at first baseman than this card right here. He's got all the pretty much quirks that most of these guys have. I think he's personally better than Delgado, but I've seen some other people like him a little bit more. It's just kind of personal preference, but... Uh, I really do love this Frank Thomas card. I think he is definitely deserving of the number one spot on this list, but that's going to do it, man. Seriously, do appreciate you guys watching. Again, if anyone is new, make sure you guys go ahead and like the video and subscribe. We are on the road down to 15,000 subscribers, so definitely go ahead and click the subscription button and turn on post notifications. You guys never miss an upload, but bare minimum, if you guys made it this far, you may as well leave a like on the video. Seriously, would appreciate it. Let me know your top 10 down in the comments and what you guys think, but uh, that's going to do it, man. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the very next video. I'll probably be ranking. I'll probably do, uh, I think I'm doing second base or shortstop next. I think I'm doing second base next. You guys will see that video pretty soon for me, but that's going to do it. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Click the end screens. Check out some of the other videos on my channel, but that's going to do it. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.